Hello friend this is Abhishek Agarwal here and it is the new tutorial series where I'll be showing you how to create a threaded hex screw and nut in Gadia V5 along with this I'll also show you how to perform a simple simulation between them in DMO kinematics so as on your screen you can see a threaded hex screw so we'll start with its sketching go to start mechanical design part design name your part as threaded hex screw so first of all we will start with the hexagonal head so for that we will select this particular plane over here that is xy plane go to sketch create a hexagonal profile with side of length 6 mm so give it a so give it a 6 here so 6 mm is the length of side now quickly exit from this sketch and give it a pad uh, of 3 mm each side so now we completed with the hexagonal head now uh, select this particular plane over here go to sketch uh, draw a circle and give it a dimension of 6 mm diameter quickly exit from this sketch and give it a pad of height 18 so yes here we are completed with the basic uh, screw now we need to select this particular plane over here and we will draw a circle over it to get a profile cut on on the head and we will make this circle tangential to the hexagon like this uh, I will tell you why I am doing this uh, I am doing this because to get a profile cut over over the head as you will be able to see now I need to uh, select this particular plane over here that is uh, XZ plane and go to sketch we need to project we need to project our circle on this plane so project the circle on and draw a line which is at a 30 mm 30 degree from the projected line so give it an angle of 30 degree over here now we will select this line and make it as dotted we still don't delete it now go to exit now what we need to do we need to revolve this uh, line around the circle to get a circular profile but uh, now if you don't want to uh, switch your workbench uh, to get a revolve command you can use a power input over here so what do you, what you need to do you need to type uh, C revolve and hit enter so here you can uh, get a revolve window without switching uh, workbench so this is a very handy tool so now you need to select the revolution axis would be the z axis give a second angle as 180 degree and ok so you can see a circular surface over here now go to insert and surface which feature split select this particular profile uh, change the arrow so you uh, you got a cut over here now if you hide the surfaces you will be able to see um, the cut that is required here so now we completed with the head part now we will start with the threading part so to do a thread we need to select this particular plane that is zx plane so go to sketch uh, we will create one point that would be the starting point of our helix give it a dimension it would be 3 uh, to be at its periphery and let's give it a height of uh, very small let's say uh, 1 mm height now exit from this sketch and now we need to create we need to create a helix uh, from this point so we again we use a power input command so go to type C helix so you got a helix window over here the axis would be uh, z axis reverse the direction uh, make the pitch as 0 0.8 that would be appropriate and uh, give a height which is more than uh, this height so give it a 20 and you can see a helix profile over here now we need to draw uh, we need to create a plane at this particular point so that we can create a profile of our cut so 
good plane definition select a parallel through point and it is a reference and this is the point so now select this particular plane over here and go to sketching we need to draw a profile of our card that would be the trapezium give this length a height of 0.15 draw one center line also and make this line symmetrical now we need to define angle between these two lines that would be 30 and one more thing is we need to make these lines also symmetric about the center line so go to symmetry now we need to define uh, we need to make these line concentric so make them coincide now we need to define the uh, depth of a cut so for this purpose you need to define a distance between the this axis and this line and make the distance as 2.9 so in this way uh, our depth of cut would be 0.1 mm so this is it we can reduce the size also so this is it uh, with the profile now quickly exit from the sketch now we can use this profile as a uh, slot profile so go to slot uh, select center curve as a helix curve and you need to give a profile control by pulling direction uh, it is the only way you can create a threads so uh, we have given a screw axis as a pulling direction and if you click on ok you can see a uh, threaded uh, threads being generated over its periphery so here we are completed with the complete a uh, threaded hexagonal screw so this is it for this particular tutorial thank you very much thank you for watching my video in case of any query clarification you can uh, comment below if you want you can write to me at abhishek.832 at the rate of gmail.com for further information uh, if you like my tutorial please subscribe it so that i'll be encouraged to make more and more videos till then stay tuned